Slide 1. Welcome to the PHAR 6010E course, also known as the Introduction to Pharmaceutical Biotechnology and Medical Device Industries, a Regulatory Overview, or as we like to call it, the Intro Class. My name is Jana Hodges and I'm the Assistant Director of the Regulatory Sciences Program. I want to welcome you not only to this course, but also to the UGA RS program as a whole. In the content area of this ELC course is an orientation module that is given by Dr. David Mullis, our guest lecturer, Professor Emeritus. In the orientation module, Dr. Mullis provides for you an overview of the Regulatory Sciences Program, a little historical perspective of the program, as well as a discussion about the advisory boards that help guide the UGA program um, by providing input from industry representatives. Then, in that same module, there is an orientation to the PHAR 6010 course. It is imperative that you go through that lecture because there is a small assignment. As you go through the intro tutorial, I highly encourage you also to review the course syllabus. The syllabus for the online course is an important document to keep you on track. I also encourage you to go through the video tutorials that have been provided by email but are also noted here. And I encourage you also to ask questions should you encounter any concerns or issue throughout your time in the RS program. Slide 2. This course will officially start Saturday, January 4th with the orientation modules and Module 1. Sent to you by email, there is no live class meeting on this day. You should begin the course by reviewing the orientation module and Module 1. Your first assignment is due the following Sunday. Please see the ELC assignment dropbox tool or the course syllabus for the exact date and time that your assignment is due. Generally, assignments in the program are due at 11.59 p.m. of the due date. Slide 3. There are no live sessions or teleconferences or web conferences currently scheduled for this class. You are to start this course by going through the orientation module so you can familiarize yourself with the RS program, the Regulatory Sciences program, the PHAR 6010 course, the course syllabus, and how to use ELC. You should also begin the first content module. Slide 4. Your course instructor is Professor Sepe de Gellis. Professor de Gellis can be contacted by email or phone with the information listed here. Professor de Gellis resides near Brussels, Belgium. Please be aware of the time difference. Ms. Arvinder Makar is the course support person. Contact her should you have any technical difficulties or need to get in touch uh, with your professor right away. Her contact information is also listed here. Many of the course lectures are recorded by Dr. David Mullis, Professor Emeritus of the UGA Regulatory Sciences Program. You will see his name and hear his voice frequently, but Professor de Gellis is your course instructor. Slide 5. If students would like to have a private meeting or individual time with the course instructor, please contact Ms. McCarr and allow for at least a one-week turnaround time for scheduling. You should email her at amakkar at uga.edu with your request. Essentially, this course is broken down into 10 modules. Module 1, for example, provides an introduction to regulatory affairs. Module 2 covers an overview of the Food and Drug Administration. Then Professor Mullis and Digales go into the pharmaceutical industry in Module 3. Module 4 covers biologics, etc. And the course concludes with Module 10, which is the last module, and it addresses the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration. Slide 7. You should begin the course by reviewing the orientation module, followed by Module 1. These modules by Dr. Mullis cover, as we discussed earlier, an overview of the UGA Regulatory Sciences Program and an introduction to the PHAR 6010 course. 
slide 8. I want to remind you also about viewing the video tutorials on the Screencast web channel for the Regulatory Sciences program. We have multiple videos there, one on UGA Digital Resources, the second group is on ELC demonstrating its functionality and navigation. If you have experience with ELC, also known as Desire to Learn's Brightspace, you are welcome to skip over these videos. There is a final video on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Blackboard Collaborate Ultra is both a web conferencing tool and an online recording tool. And although you won't use Collaborate Ultra for a course meeting in this class, you are expected to use it for your final course presentation and recording, i.e. the final project for the PHAR 6010 course. I recommend that you get into Blackboard Collaborate Ultra early on in this semester and learn how to use it. It's not difficult and there are directions within this course to help you. Ms. McCarr, as your course support person, can provide assistance to you as well, but do not wait until the last minute to familiarize yourself with this tool. As graduate students and adult learners, you are expected to plan accordingly for this final assignment. You are also responsible for submitting quality work for this and all of your assignments. Slide 9. The UGA Regulatory Sciences Program is committed to providing reasonable access and accommodation for people with disabilities. If you have a disability and require accommodation, please contact me, Ms. Jonna Hodges. We have tried to make all of our course content accessible. If, however, you find content that is not accessible and you require things like closed captions or transcripts, for example, for lectures or for a live session, like a Collaborate Ultra session, please reach out to me early on in the semester so that I can make the necessary arrangements for a transcription service or a closed caption service. Also, please consider registering with UGA's Disability Resource Center. Their web address is http colon slash slash drc.uga.edu and their phone number is 706-542-8719. Slide 10. Finally, there is no textbook for this course. All readings will either be provided to you or you will be asked to locate and read a given document. Professors DeGallis, Ms. McCarr, and the Regulatory Sciences Department look forward to working with you this term. Thank you for your time.